The world is a magical place when Nikolai Ehlers is on the first line, baby! Get ready to fly! some because hey goddamn this game started at 11 30 a.m that is dumb but hey if this is the result of an 11 30 a.m game who am i to complain the winnipeg jets with an amazing comeback to win five to three over the carolina hurricanes to sweep the season series against the carolina hurricanes Wow. So, full disclosure, I missed the bad part of this game, which was kind of funny. Like, I I, show, I got home right as Niederreiter put the puck in the net. And I went, oh. Um, I had a whole, th I had an alternate thumbnail and everything. I had, like, a photo of Hellebuck just playing a net because the her Carolina Hurricanes are annoying and don't post uh, goal graphics, which is a really weird. Um, also, it was Kids Day or whatever there. So, yeah, yeah. As MJ would say, fuck them kids, because holy shit, did the Jets take no prisoners for 20 minutes. Let's talk about the first 40, quickly. Uh, first period, so let's let's get the elephants out of the room, actually, quickly. The Jets, this is a character win. Going into this game, Cole Perfetti has been healthy scratched, um... Which is, I, I don't necessarily fully agree with this decision, because I don't think it's... I actually think with Velarde out, um, like, yes, you could do, you could say, like, a mental reset. I would also argue, though, that it's just as good of a reinforcement or a big confidence booster, especially when confidence is such a big thing at a young age, at a young age in the NHL, to just put him on the top line and say, we have confidence that you can possibly perform here. Just a thought. Just a thought. Like, again, I, I don't hate Alex Ifella, but he's just kind of there. He's like, why am I here? What did I do? Um. Anyway, Brendan Dillon is sick this morning, which makes sense. It's funny, because sometimes they'll be like, oh, he's sick. He missed the game. I'm like, what does that entail? Like, stuffy nose? Or like actually vomiting brains out like i can understand being sick in the morning though that that's that's that shit ha that shit sucks that stuff happens all the time um and then gave velarde with an upper body injury which is the reason why he was he didn't play the third period of last game jets coming off a disappointing loss in dallas where they really just got beaten into a pulp in the first period and never fully recovered well the beating waits till the second period but the first period is no is not great this game is good. Kyle Connor's play in this game is not one of the highlights of the this this comeback, I'd say. He gets the first goal later on in the third, but there's too many soft passes by Kyle Connor here. If I still did the Mike Award, if I did, if I wanted to be a negative Nancy, he would get the Mike Award for for the worst jet for tonight because he has too much skill to be willingly to giving those pucks away into, like, just soft areas of the ice. He needs to have a harder pass on those things, and it's just it just wasn't working. The top line was not working for the first two periods. Second period's a disaster. Um, they give up three goals to the Hurricanes. I don't really know what you want Helmick to do on any of them. They're all really set up. It's, it's just frustrating, and honestly, I thought that was game. But no, before we get into that, though, what time is it? Moose watch. Oh. Moose watch. So I don't have a lot to cover. Actually, I, I do want to talk about something because I that I find very interesting. College signings. Uh, I'm curious to see if the man, if the Winnipeg Jets, or in this case, it would technically be the Manitoba Moose. It's technically the Winnipeg Jets signing the players, but it's a two way contract, so they'd go to the Moose. Um, the last two years, they have uh, picked up players from the college, from college, from Providence and Quinnipiac, uh, with Wyatt Mangiovanni and Parker Ford, respectively. I'm curious to see if they, if they, like a lot of NCAA uh, 
colleges that aren't like the elite colleges um are having players like are getting play players are getting picked up now and i'm curious to see if the jets make a run at a couple players just to see some feelers um also too when i mentioned uh the injuries to the mats over moose yesterday danny zilkin is out for the season yes chaz lish is out for the season yes uh jimmy ligney out for the season yes uh tyrell bauer is the other one that was that's weak it's it's day to day i believe uh the moose are playing actually right now um the problem is is this it's as far as i'm aware christian reichel is open the scoring in that game so i don't have clips for that because the game just started um but they're looking to rebound um but yeah no i'm also curious to see what college signings they will kind of invest in if they invest in any they don't have to but usually it around the trade deadline they usually sign at least one or two players specifically for the Manto Moose or make a trade in relation to the Manto Moose. So we'll have to see if that if that shakes out again. Um, <clears throat> also, on the topic of prospects that could be future Moose players, so it technically counts as Moose Watch, haha. Uh, Dominic Divicentis has kind of been on a revenge tour right now after missing out on a Team Canada spot in a spot that people largely believed was his to lose. Uh, he's rebounded. He was the goaltender of the month for the OHL, which is good to see because I, I love I love Divi. Divi had a rough start to this year, though. He's his numbers were down. He he's really started. He he's picked it back up, not to what he was last year, but he has gotten back into a rhythm of things, and that's clear. And that was Mouse Watch. So I get I get the Jets in the third period come out firing. Early in this period, uh, Kyle Connor with kind of a uh, seeing eye shot from outside of the, his regular place in the slot just finds the back of the net. Good. These are the type of shots that I want to see get taken on more because I feel like the Jets are sometimes a little a little gun shy. Sometimes it's good to get one on the board immediately a couple minutes in. Not long after that, Nino Niederreiter on a beautiful pass from Nate Schmidt. Good on Nate Schmidt. He's he's trying his hardest. He's honestly making a good case for himself to stay on this team. Don't think he will pass the trade deadline. But you can see the effort is there. Nina Ryder scores against his former team to make it a 3-2 game. And then, not long after that, on the power play, no less, Mark Shifley. Is it time for a new game? I think it is. There. Yeah! The Jets have tied it, and you can sense it in the building getting quiet. Shifley scores. He shows some emotion, which, by the way, big up on Shifley. He doesn't always show emotion when he scores. He kind of just goes the stoic. No, that mo Down on one knee, like, let's go! It's like, yes, sir! And the Jets keep pressuring. This entire period was like, if this, if I could judge this game based on this period, which I wish I could because it was the only period I saw start to finish, um, this game was dominant by the Winnipeg Jets. This third period was a statement. I have never seen a team with le with more odds against them put up so much um, adversity against another team this season. And the Jets did that. They were all over it. Forward checking, back checking. Um, I didn't like the call on Nemeskov. I thought that was a little weak. I thought Orlov kind of, kind of baited him in there. Uh, it doesn't matter because they kill the penalty, and that's another thing. They kill penalties. Really, they've been killing penalties solid. Honestly, the penalty kill and power play. We wanted Brad Lauer's head a month ago. He started to turn it around. This win streak really benefited from it. Even the loss in, in Dallas, they scored a power play goal. And tonight, they get a power play goal. That's huge. That's huge for morale to know that you can, you have such a better chance at getting ahead in this game when you're on the power play. That's big. Um, Jets keep the pressure. And this is such a Pyotr Kochetkov goal against. Kochetkov is, is, is a very smart, a very good goalie. But he's also a little bit reckless in the net. Comes out, tries to check it on net. Mestikov goes right to, yes, sir, he is a Winnipeg Jet. Sean Monahan. No, there, there, there. Yes! Yes! Sean Monahan shuts off the lead. Woo! And.
and Monahan absolutely just puts it in the back of the net, and bang! Jets have their first lead of the night with under five minutes left in the third period. There'd be a little bit of a uh, stress after that. Hellebuck played balls out to keep this game uh, a one-goal lead for your Winnipeg Jets, and Nino Niederreiter would ice this game 5-3. Get it out. Oh, it's out, it's out, it's out. Yeah! Woo Let's go! Nino! And it's great, and it's great. And honestly, I'm I'm just happy. I'm happy with that. Honestly. And yeah, Jets go on to win 5-3. Here's the uh, women's side of hockey, quick. Women! 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 This is a quick segment because I have to cue it because I, I really do enjoy the PWHL. Uh, there's not a lot of news in the PWHL. <clears throat> I think Montreal signed a former Olympian to a 10-day contract, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, Dao. I think that's I think that's who it is, and I think that's how I say it. If not, I'm sorry on both accounts. Um, and then also, like every day, it seems like I'm seeing more people. Are, it's like this is the official sponsor of the PWHL. Is this is the official blank sponsor of the PWHL? It's good. They're growing it really well. Um, I can't report on any games because you know it's still like two in the afternoon. Um, all I can say is I refed a game yesterday, last night that was women's double A, and it was crazy. It was, it was, it was mental. It's crazy. Refing is crazy. You get paid to half the time when, like, the higher you ref, you're just getting paid to get yelled at. It is crazy. I'm insane. Anyway, <laughs> that's 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 the Miss Manitoba moments. It's just it's just self reflection on Zach's part. Way to go. What. What a fem what a, what a feminist movement there. Uh, just made it all about me. Sorry. Uh, but no. Jets go on to win five to three. Wow. Holy shit. I am so happy. I'm so happy with this win. This win wasn't deserved, but it was earned. And they earned it. They earned it in the third period. They didn't deserve it, but they earned it. And that's all that matters, honestly. In a game where they played kind of almost 40 minutes last night, they played 20 minutes this night, and they get the win for it. And now they're tied once again for the top of the Central. Guys, what are your thoughts on this game? I need to hear from you. What were your thoughts on this game? What are your takeaways? Uh, three stars of the game. Nino Niederreiter gets the... He'll get the first star tonight, actually. He had two goals... Those are big. Second star, Nikolai Ehlers. He was elevated to the top line, and it changed on a dime. Third star of the game. Uh, I'm not giving it to Hell. Hellbuck's an honorable mention tonight. Third star of the game is going to go to... Ooh, which way do I want to go? I'll go Sean Monahan. He had the game winner. I'd love to see it. Yeah, that's, that's, all for, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like. We're one subscriber away from hitting 1650, which is cool. Just cool. Please help. <laughs> Come on, Nicola Anders. Chips it through, gets it right.